hello student of class 9 today we are going to discuss very important topic speed and velocity so this is very important quantity in physics as well as in the chapter motion without understand this concept we cannot go ahead this in this chapter so try to understand speed and velocity less thing an object is at the position a now this object moves towards east 4 meter so this is supposed east side this is west this is north and this is south now this object moves towards east 4 meter so suppose this object reaches this position p by covering 4 meter now this object is again moves towards north 3 meter so 3 meter and reach at the point C now question arising what is the distance covered by the object we know that distance is the total path length covered by the object without a direction so here the object covered first A to B and then B to C means 4 meter plus 3 meter equal to 7 meter so distance equal to 4 meter plus 3 meter equal to 7 meter then what is the displacement of the object in this case so displacement we know that it is the path covered by the object from the initial position to the final position with a direction so if we join by a straight line this initial position and this final position then this will be the displacement in this case so this displacement we can find out by using Pythagoras theorem because here displacement is the hypotenuse and perpendicular and base values are given so displacement here hypotenuse so displacement equal to root over perpendicular square perpendicular is 3 plus base is 4 so 9 plus 16 25 so it will be 5 meter so displacement is 5 meter now discuss about speed and velocity so this distance if we compare with time then we can say it is speed and this displacement if we compare with time then it is called velocity so we can write speed equal to this distance with respect to time and velocity equal to displacement with respect to time so this is the difference between speed and velocity speed and velocity have more differences since we know distance cannot be zero so speed also cannot be zero distance cannot be negative speed cannot be negative distance is always greater than or equal to displacement so speed is also always greater than or equal to velocity distance is scalar quantity so speed is also scalar quantity similarly displacement is vector quantity velocity is vector quantity displacement can be zero velocity can be zero displacement can be negative velocity can be negative so displacement have a direction velocity also have a direction so try to write all the differences between speed and velocity and distance and displacement.